Hello everyone, we are taking you on a walkthrough tour of a shooting star model. It's a construction walkthrough video, so it's construction stage, a lot of work going on. We're going to do another walkthrough closer to the finish stage, hopefully in between construction and finish stage to give you a real good perspective of everything that went on in this house. Before you get into this, if you could please click the subscribe button and you'll stay connected for our most up-to-date videos. And we hope you enjoy. All right, let's do this walkthrough. Nice bridge, nice natural feature in front of this house. There we go, walkout basement, nice covered deck, lots of glass all over the place. Attached garage as well. Large attached garage, lots of storage space in there as well. All right, inside the home, look at those windows. Bringing the daylight in. This house is actually east facing. You can see a lot of natural light comes in regardless of the direction windows are facing. So really connecting every room to the outside environment is very important for natural comfort. Uh, there you have the construction stage again. So obviously we're in frame stage. There's insulation. Uh, you could have seen up there in those walls, dense pack cellulose. Okay, now we're here in the basement. There's one bedroom down here. There's a utility room, full washroom, but first this big recreational space. Do anything you want in there. Lots of glass, really opening up this basement to outside. You know, it makes it really feel like an above grade floor in a way because of that. Basements, you know, are a good way to add a lot of additional square footage for not that much extra cost or reasonable cost, about half of the cost per square foot to build a basement compared to a second floor. And on a slope lot, it will be natural to have a walkout, of course. So we showed you the utility room. There's the washroom, full-size washroom in this basement. The foundation system is an ICF system. Uh, it's an R48 ICF. And the walkout wall, though, alternatively, is a passive wall. So a lot of times walkout basements will match the insulative value of the above grade wall system. All right, back up to the main floor. You can see the zip ceiling, the green ceiling. That's a vapor barrier sheathing. Very important, you know, to use a sheathing product for both a vapor barrier and air barrier. So if the house has the strength extra a lot of extra strength for the changing weather patterns that we're dealing with all right we are through the master into the master bath you can see there's a window in there ultimately every room in this house is connected to the outside with glass there you can get a take a peek at the insulation as well this house is just recently insulated so there's about an r75 total cellulose insulation so like any passive home thermal envelope very as important as the airtight envelope R75 in the walls, R110 goes in the roof, and outside these beautiful doors onto the deck. Now this deck, the front of this house, the glass, most of the glass is actually facing east, okay? Because of the slope of the property, to, to be integrated into the slope of the walkout basement, this house is facing east, but you know, passive house, great point with this is, homes don't need to face south. Passive home is not a passive solar home. It's a passive house. This house can face any direction and it's still going to be 70 to 90% better than code, reap all those energy savings rewards. And uh, back out through the building, double garage again, built more conventional. You know, what's funny about the garage is the garage is built with two by six walls, which is the same way most conventional homes are built. So in a passive home, build your garage like conventional building. Here we go. Look at this beautiful view. There you have the roof line, hilltop above, back away from this natural feature, bridge top, shooting star model. Check out the link to the plans page. Get inspired for what you can recreate on your property. We hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more for another walkout video we're hoping to do at the drywall stage when the mechanicals are in to give you more info on this beautiful Passive House Project.